Welcome to this tutorial, the first in a series of tutorials on the Coffee Cup Visual Site Designer. Now I've opened the program and this is our welcome screen and it's asking us three questions. Do you want to create a new website, open an existing website or a file, or create a new website based on a theme? Well, if you're just starting out, you have no backgrounds or you have no templates. So a theme would probably be your wisest choice here. So we're going to click on that and now we see our default themes that come up. And as we scroll through here, we can make a decision as to which one we'd like. Well, I like this business as unusual. So we're going to go with that one. And up comes our tip of the day. Now these are wonderful little tidbits that will help you solve some problems or help you learn the program. Um, you can read them and as you get more proficient with the program you can always say don't show it again. For now we're going to dismiss it by saying OK. Now I want to back up just a little bit here. When you first clicked on uh, your template, when you clicked, uh, when you made your decision, okay, it might have come up like something like this. Don't panic. Just grab it and pull it up into with your mouse, holding your mouse and pull it up into the gray work area and then you'll be fine. Now you'll also see that I have a little box that's uh, object properties and what this is telling me or showing me is in regard to this contact us box that has the blue with the uh, rectangle with the little green handles on it. Now those little green handles, I could pull those and I could lengthen that box, I could widen the box, uh, as well as in here I could change the color, but since it's on black I think the white looks good. I could change my font to whatever I desired. I could change the size of the font as well as the color again, um, like that. Or I could change it from bold to italic, underlined. And then within that box, I could align my text left, center, or right. But it looks okay for now, so I'm not really going to worry with these right now. But we're going to come over to the left-hand side, and we'll see that it says the connection. Well, that we want our website name up there. So how do we change that? Well, since I want it in the same line as the rest of the text, but I just want to change the text, we're going to put our arrow or cursor over the first character, which is a T, and click. Left click once. Now we see a blue box come up. Well, if we delete on our keyboard at this point, we delete the box and everything but I just want to change the type so we're going to put it back over that T and we're going to click left click twice and up comes red. Now I can pull drag my mouse over that and hit delete and then I want to double check that it's I want it in bold so I want to kind of double check that and I'm going to come back here and we're going to type in our website name and there you go. Now how do I get rid of that red box and basically lock it in so it doesn't go anywhere? Well just put your cursor somewhere else and you may have to click, well there's one click, went back to blue, so if you click again it disappears. And now you will see there is a blue box around this terracotta color. Well what we want to do is I don't want anything in this. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, but if you click it now, you would get rid of the terracotta and everything. But I want the terracotta color, so I just want to get rid of text. So I'm going to, again, put my mouse over the first letter under, well, this would be S. Click once. Now, since I don't care if I keep it in line with anything, I could just leave let the blue box around there. Right click, up comes a little drop down that says cut, and there it goes. So one more time, left click right click cut. Now I'm going to pause this and we will continue on the next video.